Okay, so here's another short video, but this one actually has a lot of punch to it. We are now going to talk about E and Z designations for alkenes, all right? This is gonna fit very nicely in what you've learned up to this point. So it's really just a natural extension of some things you've already learned. All right, so for molecules with different groups attached to a carbon-carbon double bond, the cis-trans notation doesn't work anymore, right? When we used cis and trans in this before, let me get my marker here, marker, come here, all right, when we used cis and trans before, we did something like this, right? This would be cis 1, 2, dichloroethene, right? Cis 1, 2, dichloroethene. However, you can't say cis with a molecule like this, right? Here's an ethyl group, here's a hydrogen, here's an amino group, and here's a fluoro atom, right? Not a group. Well, what, what, what is on the same side as what? Right? So we can't use the cis trans isomer or the cis trans notation for something like this. It doesn't work. Okay? So what are we gonna do? We're gonna use something similar to it. We're gonna use something called EZ designations, okay? So the uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to consider each side first. I mean one side at a time. Okay? One side at a time. So over here I, I find what has the highest priority. Well fluorine has a higher um, atomic number than carbon and so fluorine gets the higher priority here. I am going to put a little star next to it. Yes, I'm going to do note. You've seen me do notes before. Clutch, right? It's going to save you lots of trouble. Now I'm going to ignore what's over here and I'm going to come to the other side. Okay? You can see David Klein agrees with me. He puts this dotted line around it, right? So now I come over here and I say, well, nitrogen has a higher atomic number than hydrogen. Therefore, this, right, is uh, the one that gets the higher priority over here. Now, can you see that the higher priority groups are on the same side now? Okay. I don't have a good way of remembering E. It's ent, I don't even know if I'm spelling this right, entgegen. Okay, it's German. Lots of G's, Z's, and K's, because it's German, right? Entgegen. Now, I do have a, a nice way of remembering Z, and I got this from someone else. It feels a little goofy coming out. But it's going to, um, it's, I, don't, I'm, I know I'm spelling this wrong because I haven't looked at it in a long time. Zeusamen, okay? But watch this. Z, Zane, Zide. The higher priority groups are on the same side. You see that? They're on the same side, right? And so this is Z. Uh, configuration of this particular compound. And there's too many groups in there, I don't want to name it, right? But it's Z because it's that. And E is just the other one. E is when they're not on the same side, okay? And I have no way of remembering that except it's not the same side, okay? So we prioritize the groups the same way. We do it with the con Ingold prelog system, which you've practiced now. And ooh, I got Zuzaman pretty good, didn't I? Look at that. Zuzaman. Uh, now, if the top party groups on the same side, we do zusamen, which means together, okay? Z same side. If the top party groups on the opposite side, we use engagen, which means the other side, not Z. That's what engagen means. And that is all I have to say about E and Z designations for alkenes. Go practice.